How you doing? My name is John Four, and I'm bringing to you today a video called How to Ride Dirt Jumps When You Suck. I'm 47 years old. I think I rode my very first dirt jump when I was 42. So the reason why I'm doing this video is I figure if I can learn how to ride a dirt jump, so can you. First rule for dirt jumping, bring a shovel. Never be afraid to do some hard work when you're at the dirt jumps. I have my very own custom shovel, thanks to a buddy of mine. I use a shovel often. I shovel just as much as I ride uh, many times. And uh, one of the things with dirt jumps, it's kind of an art form. So you never want to mess with someone else's takeoff or landing. If you're new to the dirt jumps, grab a shovel, just be willing to move dirt to help out, pack trash out of there, whatever you have to do. I personally ride the Sunday Wave C. It's a 24 inch bike. I like the 24 inch bike with the bigger wheels. You're able to maintain speed. It's a lot more forgiving. If you screw up, you're not gonna go down as fast. The bigger wheels uh, tend to carry your momentum better and they're not quite as twitchy. So if you make a mistake, you're able to roll out of it a lot safer. You know, I, I tried riding uh, hardtail mountain bikes. I tried riding 20 inch. I never felt comfortable and confident to be able to hit big jumps. And so this bike was the perfect bike for me. This bike is the best bike I've ever ridden. And uh, thank you, Jim C, for creating this bike. One of the keys to riding dirt jumps is being able to maintain your speed and being able to ride smooth so you can Hit one jump, hit the landing smooth, be able to pump through to the transition of the next jump and being able to maintain your speed through the whole line. Now one of the things I recommend is if you've never ridden dirt, dirt jumps before, hit the BMX track. I don't, I don't race BMX anymore. When I first started riding, I, I was 38 years old when I first got into BMX. I didn't hit my first dirt jump till I was 42, but I spent my first three years riding a BMX track. You learn how to maintain speed there. You learn how to hit rollers. And um, some of the best riders I know, at least the ones I really, really enjoy watching, are the guys that used to be BMX racers. Those are the guys that ride with that, the kind of style that you envy. <laughs> All right, we're here at some trails. Uh, love these trails. I've ridden them before. We've had a lot of rain lately, spent several hours digging, uh, getting them ready to ride again. Uh, one of the things I like about this jump set is it has this easy line that I can just run through a few times, get warmed up, because sometimes I just like to know I still remember how to ride a bicycle. I take a lot of time thinking things through, watching other riders, asking questions to riders I respect. Uh, sometimes a jump is easy to over jump, sometimes you really have to push through it to clear it. I like to know those things before I hit a jump. And because uh, I don't like to crash. Crashing sucks, it hurts, uh, especially when you're my age. I like to be able to get through a set uh, without killing myself. Another thing to do when you're first riding a new set of trails is after you spend some time watching some guys, identifying some guys that, that, that you respect and, and you feel like you can learn from, is maybe follow them into the set the first time because one of the hardest things is gauging your speed the first time through a set of trails. You don't want to go too slow and 50-50 the landing, or you don't want to go too fast and completely over jump the landing. Once you have figured out that jump, and once you know where the landing is, how steep that landing is, basically you want to come into that landing front tire first. And you want basically your front tire to hit as far towards the top of the landing as possible. And your front tire and back tire will actually hit very close to the same spot and if you're able to do that that's going to maximize how much pump you get on the landing and, and it's going to set you up to be able to pump into the takeoff of the next jump. When I've spent the time looking at the jumps before I know which way I'm going to turn out if I don't hit a, a landing clean I know I need to turn out before I hit the next one. One way you turn out you might go into a ditch the other way might be a nice clean way to roll out. When it comes to coming up short on a jump I think that's what scares people most is leaving the ground, you're clearing a gap, and next thing you know, maybe your front tire is going to clear. <laughs> so if you're going to come up short, and you know you're going to 50-50 that landing, best thing to do is stiffen up, straighten out your legs, 
lean back, and you can completely 50-50 a landing and, and still roll out of it without hitting the ground. Now, if you do that, make sure you grab a shovel and fix whatever you screwed up on the landing. All right, quick recap here. Bring a shovel. Don't be afraid of some hard work. You'll get respect at the trails if you're always bringing a shovel and willing to work. Number two, spend time watching the other people ride the trails, check out the trails, make sure you know your turnout spots, make sure you're gonna know what to do if you screw up. Learn how to pump through transition, learn how to maintain that speed, learn how to do it without pedaling in between jumps, and uh, first and foremost, have fun. Dirt is a blast, it's a lot softer than pavement, and uh, at 47 years old, it's my favorite thing to do.